Have you ever wondered who invented the traffic signal? It wasn't always the automated system we know today. Let's wind back the clock to the dawn of the 20th century, a time when the world was just getting acquainted with the magic of automobiles. Imagine this, shiny new vehicles zipping around, the thrill of speed and convenience, the hum and honk of engines, and then the chaos. Accidents were as common as daisies in a field, and it was clear that something had to give. These were not the sleek, automated signals we know today. No, these were more like the Wild West equivalent, raw, rough, and manually operated. A uniformed individual perched precariously on a box or a stand, waving flags or turning signboards to control the flow of traffic. It was a tough job, but someone had to do it. But these manual signals weren't exactly the epitome of efficiency. There were delays, miscommunications, and let's not even get started on what happened when the weather turned foul. Clearly, a more effective solution was needed. And then, in the midst of this chaos, a brilliant mind stepped forward with a revolutionary idea. A simple, yet ingenious device that would transform the way we navigate our roads. A contraption that would bring order to the pandemonium and make our roads safer for everyone. All thanks to one man. A man who would forever alter the course of road safety Garrett A. Morgan, an African-American inventor with a keen eye for solving problems. Born in the late 19th century, Garrett was a man of humble beginnings. His journey to becoming an inventor began when he was just 14, leaving his Kentucky home behind to seek employment in Ohio. Garrett started as a handyman for a landowner, but this young man was not one to be satisfied with just any job. He had a thirst for knowledge and was always eager to learn. Despite his long working hours, he managed to keep his studies going, showing us that learning doesn't require a classroom alone. In 1895, Garrett moved to Cleveland, where he found work with a clothing manufacturer. His job? Repairing sewing machines? He was fascinated by how things worked and was always looking for ways to make them work better. By 1907, he had saved enough money to start his own business. He opened a shop for repairing sewing machines and shoes, and within two years, he expanded his business to include a tailoring shop. But here's the kicker. The tailoring shop used materials all made by Garrett himself. But Morgan was not just a businessman. He was an inventor at heart. Now here's a fun fact. One day while working on his sewing machines, he discovered a liquid that could straighten fabric. And guess what? It also worked on hair. That's right, folks. Garrett A. Morgan, the inventor of the traffic signal, also invented a hair straightening solution. But while hair straightening was a nice side venture, it was his keen observation skills and inquisitive nature that led to his most significant invention. The one that would not only change his life, but also the lives of millions of people around the world. In 1923, Morgan gave birth to the first three-way traffic signal. This was a T-shaped rod, a simple yet brilliant device that managed to control the chaos of the roaring 20s roads a towering rod, standing tall amidst the hustle and bustle of the streets. It wasn't just a stick with a few lights on it. Oh no, this was a maestro, conducting an orchestra of automobiles. It had three movements, each as crucial as the next. Stop, go, and all stop. The stop and go are self-explanatory, but let's talk about the all stop. This was the grand pause, the moment when the entire traffic symphony came to a halt, when all directions stopped. But why, you ask? This was the time for the unsung heroes of the road, the pedestrians, to take the stage. The all-stop was their curtain call, their chance to cross the road safely without having to dodge any unruly vehicles. It was a manually operated signal, a bit like a puppeteer pulling the strings, making sure every car knew when to move and when to stay put. It was a cleverly designed device that brought order to what was once a chaotic, accident-prone mess, and so, Morgan's traffic signal, with its unique T-shaped rod and its three-part performance, took the lead role in managing the roadways of the 20s. It was a sight to behold, a performance that brought order and safety to the streets. As brilliant as Morgan's invention was, it was only the beginning. But what good is an invention if it's not put to use? The real story, the real impact of the modern traffic signal was yet to come. After patenting his traffic signal, Morgan made a deal that would ensure its widespread use. Now, you might be wondering how this brilliant mind got his invention to the streets, right? Well, Morgan played a rather smart hand. 
He sold the rights of his invention, his hard-earned patent, to a company you might have heard of, the General Electric Corporation. You see, General Electric was a big player in the game, a corporation with the resources and the reach to take Morgan's concept and turn it into a reality on a grand scale. So how much do you think Morgan sold his patent for? A few thousand? 10,000? Nope. Morgan struck a deal with General Electric for a whopping $40,000. Now I know that might not sound like a lot by today's standards, but back in the 1920s, $40,000 was a considerable sum. It was like hitting the jackpot, but it wasn't all about the money. This deal wasn't just a big win for Morgan, it was a win for all of us. After acquiring the rights to Morgan's invention, General Electric could implement his traffic signal on a broad scale. They had the means to manufacture it, distribute it, and maintain it, and they did. Across the country, and eventually around the world, Morgan's traffic signals started appearing on busy streets and at dangerous intersections. It was a game changer, a lifesaver. It brought order to the chaos, and it made the roads a safer place for everyone, drivers, pedestrians, and cyclists alike. And that, my friends, is how we got the traffic signals we know today. Thanks to Garrett A. Morgan's inventive genius and shrewd business acumen, we have a system that keeps us safe on the roads every single day. Morgan's invention also had a profound impact on our understanding of road safety. It highlighted the importance of clear, standardized signals in traffic management, a principle that remains at the heart of traffic systems globally. It sparked a revolution in the way we approach traffic control, paving the way for the sophisticated automated systems we see today. Garrett A. Morgan's traffic signal was more than just an invention. It was a lifesaver. 